And I remember sitting there in my room at three in the morning as the medal ceremony took place and as the national anthem of Latvia played. Yep, the small Baltic country of Latvia won the very first ever men's BMX gold medal. Something came over me. I wanted to do that. I longed to do that. When I was 15, I had some weights set up in my garage, some things that I would use to work out and to train for BMX. I had some posters of my favorite pros up on the wall and some other little motivational pieces. But that very next day after I watched the Olympic Games from China, I went down to my garage, I grabbed a Sharpie, and I wrote on my parents' garage wall, I will one day become world champion and win an Olympic gold medal. Life's too short, life's too precious to not dream big. And if you dream big and you go for an outlandish goal, even if you come up short, you'll never have the regret of going for it. Because at the end of the day, you can say you went for it. Nothing is worse than getting to the end of, of your life and thinking, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have tried this. Well, what exactly is gold? For me, it literally meant an Olympic gold medal. But for you, it could be reaching a target weight loss. It could be making six figures. It could be becoming a CEO. Gold is the accumulation of years and years of hard work. But gold is also a process. You don't just jump up out of bed one morning, wake up and get your gold. You have to learn how to get that gold. And when I say gold, I mean the peak of whatever it is that you are capable of. There's a reason why when we watch the Olympics on TV, the slogan is, go for the gold. And the slogan is not, go for the bronze. Going for the gold just means that you are 100% committed to do your best to achieve whatever it is that you have identified as your gold medal. So in my keynote, gold, uh, G, O, L, and D all stand for individual principles. Uh, the G is goals and goal setting. The O is to overcome. The L is learn. And D is determination. And if you're going to be a successful business person or a successful athlete, those are four principles that you're going to have to employ. About five minutes after I crossed the finish line, I was told that my dad was sitting there at the fence line. Now I was in shock. I had just crossed the finish line five minutes earlier. I could barely speak. And we couldn't embrace, we couldn't hug due to this fence. But we held hands through the barbed wire fence like this. And we put our heads together. And he says to me, Connor, you wrote it on the wall and you made it come true. What do you have written on your wall? Thank you.